Hi everybody, you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie, and I'm your host, Donnie. And I um, just did a little bit of shopping today after um, showing all my pins yesterday. I uh, sold a lot of them, and some of the ones I put up, I completely sold out of, so I went to go get some more. And while I was out and about, I picked up a few things and I just wanted to show you the couple things I did. And then I've got a special unboxing for you, as you probably saw in the title. Uh, the first thing I picked up was this cutie. Um, I got this at Joann's and I figured I would work with Teslin and maybe teach her how to do some cross stitch. It's on wood. And we always get an ornament every year and put it on the on the tree. So I figured um, we'd put something on the back, write her name, the year. Um, but I always get something with the year on it. So I can just put the year, write the year on it. And this will be like something she'll remember forever as her first cross stitch. Um, it's pretty cute. These are normally $10. They're on sale right now for um, $3.99. And then I had a coupon that today was the last day where you can get an extra 25% off. So I saved uh, another 80 cents. So it was just about $3 and what, 19 cents? Yeah. So I thought that was pretty good. And it's uh, got one piece of wood, one needle, embroidery floss, easy to follow instructions. And it tells you you're going to need scissors. So... Yeah, it's a pretty simple design. I mean, you don't even need to see the instructions for it because it's pretty small and you can see what it is. But figure, since you need the wood plank to do it, you, it doesn't really matter showing what the pattern looks like. So, um, yeah, it's pretty small and not a lot to it. So that was the first thing. And I picked this up um, for a dollar just because Teslin enjoys doing these perler beads and I wanted to get more of them for her. Actually, where'd I, where'd I put the other ones? Uh, so I also got another um, two of these. I got the Santa and I got the Snowman and they were a dollar sixty each still they were still on sale so I don't know if they're off sale now or what but I mean that's a, a really good deal plus I'm building up my tray <laughs> inventory so that now I have four but she loves them a lot so I figured I would get the rest of them they didn't have these two the first time when I went so uh these were just a little bit more than this one here and this is actually a Perler brand. They're called Little Makers. And, uh, but it, they use the Perler. Little Makers is, I think, exclusive to Joann's. So, and this one is the same. It's just telling you to put, it's got a, a I guess, here, let me open it. Looks like it's got a starboard. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a circle. I thought star because I saw that. Something else is floating around in there. Oh, that's just cardboard. Oh, and they even give you tweezers in this one. That's pretty cool. And they give you the paper. That's actually a really good deal for a dollar. Um, they did have one other design, um, but there was only one of each. I, I didn't, I only had like $3 cash and I didn't want to use my debit card to buy more stuff. So yeah, my only um, question is, is there going to be enough beads? But comparing the beads, they don't look like they're any lesser quality than the Perler brand. I mean, they could be, but from what I can see, it doesn't look any different. So I think this is a really good find. Oh, the other one I saw was this one here. So there's those. 
and I just got to figure a place to put everything. <laughs> All right. And then I saw these and I just thought, okay, these would be really fun to do. I'm trying to find more crafts to do with Teslin. And the reason I actually went with this is because it's actually the Lisa Frank brand and they're, it's called glitter art and it's just like diamond painting except you use glitter instead of gems what you do is you peel off they give you this little tool i'll open one they give you the little tool to peel off certain sections at a time so you're going to do one color at a time and okay cardboard again so here's the little tool it's even covered in glitter and it's got a little um, wedge to it pointy wedge in and you're going to go through like and hey, this is nice cardboard too weird it says green Briar, green briar international which is the dollar tree brand because it's it actually says lisa frank on here and normally when it's one brand it doesn't have the green briar on it as well so i think that's interesting because this does say it's all lisa frank imported by green briar wow they're really expanding themselves. So anyway, what you do is you use the wedge end of this and you just peel off each of the sticker with the, like with the one you would take off, peel off all the sticker. And this is a lot thicker than the, um, the, the diamond art one that I showed you in my last haul. And eventually everything on this, all the pieces of sticker cover will be off, but Basically, anyway, you just pull off one number at a time and then you sprinkle the glitter and the code is on the back here, the color guide. And I don't see black in here. Oh, there it is. There's some black. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks like, uh, no. Yeah, it looks like the glitter is kind of loose in here a little bit because I'm getting glitter on my hands. But yeah, I thought that would be pretty neat for her. And then you're, you you shake off the excess and then you move on to the next one. So I'm guessing this is just a sticker underneath. And then they give you this little uh, flimsy frame to put it in afterwards. But I think that would be cute for a first time artist to use. It's got dolphins and a little... Uh, husky there the other one is these teddy bears so it looks like this one yeah has same amount of colors eight colors in both both of them so maybe we will do a video Tessa will do a video um doing one of these or her um perler sets who knows some people like to watch her and i make sure to put it in the title so those that don't want to watch um they don't have to. Her birthday party is coming up on Sunday. So I'm trying to get some stuff done before then so that I won't have to do anything at all on Sunday except her party. So yeah, there we go. Now for um, something else I picked up. It's just a little sneak peek. And... I'm only, I'm going to show you this because I'm pretty sure I won't have a problem converting it. And I have actually a couple that I'm going to show because these, I don't have a thing. I have a problem. I had um, a bigger one like this. It was red and I haven't been able to find those, but these remind me of the Lorax movie, Dr. Seuss, the trees and the Dr. Seuss land. And, um, so I thought they were cute to see if people wanted this kind of a diamond painting pen. I went ahead and picked them up. I've been looking at them and thinking, you know, I don't know, I, you know, him hawed about it, but yeah, I've got two of each of these colors. So, um, I will get those put up in the shop soonish, probably tomorrow. And then I have another special one. Uh, I have three colors and I only have one of each color. So this is a unicorn horn and it's a big fatty pen and I will have no problems converting this one. But, um, for those of you who are looking for big pens, this is perfect. Plus it's really cute because 
It makes a magical sound when you push the button. And these are limited stock, so I'm not sure if I can get them in again. Um, but especially limited time right now, um, these three pins that I have of this style, they will come with their very own diamond pin pouch. It says you are magical. So all the pouches are pink, but this would be perfect for taking along your um, stuff on the go. The pin will fit in here perfectly. And if the, you have a small enough uh, kit, everything will fit in here. But this would also be good for your tools if you want. It will fit trays and um, all your pins and whatnot. So that's just something special I wanted to put up for you guys. Uh, especially with the people that have been asking for big pens. This is probably the biggest you'll ever see. I won't go any bigger than this though. And um, that's why I waited a long time before I decided to go ahead and do this. So we do have um, this teal color and a purple and a pink. So grab them while you can. I only have three bags and those are the only ones I could find. So, um, and these are the only unicorn horns that I have. So there you go. Now for the final piece that I wanted to show you. It's actually three pieces. Um, and this is gonna be somewhat of, an, of a review. I went to Walmart to do some Christmas shopping and birthday present shopping and I picked up these diamond paintings. You may have seen them in Walmart. They were on the shelf with the um, Leisure Arts. And here's a picture of the full shelf. And then after that, I just took a picture of this brand that's on there. So as you can see, they didn't have a lot of choices for these, but these are the three that I found the most attractive. They are all partials. Um, this one is just the cat that you do. Well, here on the back, it shows it a little better. And they're all 16 by 20 inches, ready to frame. Gem art sheet, comes with the gem art sheet, the gemstones, one gem tray, one stylus, one wax, one inch by one inch and easy fall instructions. These are made by the Horizon Group USA. Uh, I went to their website. I didn't find any diamond paintings on there at all. So I don't, I don't know. I, I just couldn't see anything on there. And the diamond paint, the, but they did make sure to say that the Horizon Group does not sell directly. And they tell you to go to one of their, one of their stores, but they do sell a lot of other types of stuff for um, kids and young adults. And I saw some of the stuff on their website because I went to like every link. And it was really funny because when I was doing the shopping for Teslin, I she loves to do these dig it, digging bars where you dig through this, the hard packed sand and get gemstones. And I picked this up while we were there. And it's um, Universe. It's science meets style. These are, they do a lot of like volcano stuff, you know, making your own volcano and things like that. And since she really likes this and it's unicorn poop, it's called, it's actually fizzing unicorn dig is what they call it. Um, you'll get gems inside and then you can make necklaces. They give you all the stuff to do that with. Come to find out, this is made by the same company. See the Horizon Group? So I'm, I'm guessing that the Horizon Group just recently got into the diamond painting stuff because it wasn't on their website um, that I went to, which, uh, where was it? I think it's just diamondgroupusa.com. Uh, they're in New Jersey. Yeah, um, 
They tell you to customer service, customer dot service at hgusa.com. And then, or they have a toll free number, but, um, from what I was reading, nobody ever answers the phone there. Okay. So I just brought this out to show you that this, this is something that they normally make. Um, and they've been around for a while. I saw that they had some awards from 2014. So they call their diamond paintings Daz Dimensional Diamond Art. And I know that Brandy found these first. And I really wasn't expecting to find them when I went to Walmart because we actually went to one in a couple towns over that we normally don't go to because that's where I went to the Dollar Tree at. And this one comes with 16 colors. It does, let's see. Okay. Um, this actually doesn't... These were actually manufactured in um, Shanghai, China. <laughs> but that's not uncommon. This one has uh, 9,300 plus gems in it. And this one has over 12,000. And this one has 16,000, over 16,500. So this is the smallest of the three in, as far as coverage area. And then this one is second. And then this is third. But they all have the same size canvas. This one is almost a full drill. It just doesn't have this bottom area done, the, the ground. Because as you can see, if it will stay focused. Yeah, that shows it pretty well. The thing about um, their packaging here, they don't show like on Diamond Dots, the actual drilling area, because even this picture shows the non-drilled areas. And so this is equivalent to a 40 by 50, the full size. And there, I mean, there's just, there really isn't a much, there isn't much written on the box itself. And it shows the contents, the, you know, just like on the other one. And then this one, you actually drill everything that is shown. So this one looks like it's going to be a lot of work because of all the different colors. But this, yeah, this has 17 colors in it. And that one has 15 and 16. So it's only one extra color. So let's go ahead and open the cat and take a look at it. Let's see. Taped. Let's untape it. I wanted to do this now because I won't be doing anything but making pins tomorrow. I have like 22 of them, I think, to make. <laughs> All right. Okay, so as we can see, this area is not sticky because the cover is falling down. All right. All right. Well, it's it's definitely not wrinkled. I mean, this is actually really flat for, you know, I mean, it wasn't rolled up tight or anything in there. It was, you know, just rolled around the inside of the box. Um, they do have training wheels on the circles. And you can look at the, see the background. Oh, it looks like it's got damaged somehow. Actually, I'm both. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. You can't really see it, but it looks like it got caught in something. Yeah, there. You can see it on that one. And it is fraying. So these they don't they don't surge the edges like they do on um, Diamond Dots or uh, Diamond Art Club. This cover paper is extremely thick. It's like, it's plastic. It's a really thick plastic. And 
but but the glue is really nice looks really nice And it could be, a, ha, the sticky could be a little better. I mean, I like it when you, it takes a bit to pull your finger off, but. Uh, the glue does not really come past the letters at all. And here's the, you can look at the drill field here. I'll get you out of the shine. It's very clear. My concern and what I'm kind of confused about is obviously the, this is like a pink color, but in between the drills, it's all black. So I'm not quite sure what the purpose is on doing that. If that was, if they were meant to, because let's see the picture. I mean, I mean, are you meant to see black? Be I mean, you wouldn't think that you you were meant to see black between the between the things, but I mean, on here it shows that it's the background is the color of the drill. Well, see, like this white area, it's showing that it's pink in the background, and that the purples have a purple background down here. The blue, see. That's something that I'm not quite understanding. And the grays have, yeah, this is not the, the picture. The canvas is not what it's showing on here. And the way it should be is where the background matches to the color of the, the drills you're putting down. So I'm not sure how that would actually turn out. I might do this one first. One for one, it's smaller, the smaller of the three. And I mean, I don't know what how the other ones look yet, but to think that uh, this one's like that, I'm wondering if the other ones are. We'll look at them. <coughs> uh, but I'm not going to worry about getting it too flat because I'm going to just roll it back up, put it back in the box until I'm ready to do it. So they have the key here and it's very simple uh all letters and they're not uh similar you know the colors are quite different i and j are the only ones that really look like they might uh, cause an issue if they're right next to each other yeah it is you can see where i and j whoa a little too close there I've always said that these sizes are kind of hard to maneuver with my setup here. Let me bend that back a little bit. Okay. See where I and J meet without, gosh, that, mm, it's glare everywhere. Okay, so the top of the eye of the cat's eye are J's and then to the right, just to the right of the black area, and around the black area, those are eyes. So the colors are really similar. And over here on the side of the face, the top is eyes and the bottom's J's. But the blues are really close in color. So, you know, they probably would have been good to skip the eye and just went JK. And that's my opinion. <laughs> but I, you know, just from experience, it and what knowing what people like, um, when being able to see things fluidly is not having to struggle to tell between an I and a J or, you know, a three and a, or a D and a B or three and a B. So yeah, my concern, I would actually, um, canvas condition is good, but as far as the manufacturing of this canvas, I would uh, take a point off for the fact that all the backgrounds are black. And that's because that's kind of a big thing when you see the, you know, that you're going to be able to see through the, the creases of the gem, the spaces between the, the rounds. And you want to be able to have the color back of the background fill that in. So, oh, here, let's pull this up a little bit. Banging around a little too much there and I'm 
made it fall. All right, let me move this over and pull up the drills. Good quality bag. All right, so they have a ba very basic um, toolkit. It's actually a little darker green than I'm used to seeing for the boats, but they've got the regular wax and a regular pink pin. It kind of looks like it might be even thinner than the regular pins. Huh. All right, here's our instructions. It's printed very lightly. Um, it says the key is available in the upper left-hand corner of your DAS art sheet. Simply match the colored square and letter to the corresponding gem color packet. So it gives you all these instructions that, you know, most people who have already diamond painted already know, but, um, they have some, um, helpful hints on here and tips, uh, like gently tap the tray to flip gemstones onto the flat backside. Uh, you can use scissors to cut away the protective plastic on the small area you are working on. Um, don't be sure not to remove too much of the protective plastic as adhesive on your DAS art sheet design may collect dust or lint, reducing the tackiness of the adhesive sheet. And it says if you need to take a break, uh, make sure all the adhesive sections on your kit are covered with the plastic. Um, yeah, it, it's just your basic instructions. It says, if you placed your gem off center, you can use the back of your stylus to gently push it to into place. Um, after you've completed gemming your entire DAS art sheet, you can decoupage it to ensure your gems stay intact and or frame it to display and preserve your artwork. And it says DAZing to place gems on your DAS art sheet. So they're uh, adverb or whatever dazzing is. This daz is a verb. They're using it as a verb, so. Anyway, yeah, the rest of the stuff is, it's saying uh, it's best to work left to right if you are right-handed and or left, a oh, right to left if you are right-handed and or left to right if you are left-handed in order to ensure gems stick down with no debris on the sticky surface. So the rest of it is the basic stuff. And wow, look at that purple. Isn't that beautiful? So the number on here matches the number of the... Uh, canvas they don't use dmc codes okay it's not on the canvas itself it, it must be on the box all right item 88621 right there and that says 88621 so we know that it goes to this box but you wouldn't know to keep that number if you were kidding your stuff up or you just name it cat or whatever. So this has 16. So let's just make sure we have 16 bags here. Oh my gosh, look at these purples. One of them is 555. I just, or 550, I just know it. I think it's that one. There's a lot of different purples in this. But the picture just doesn't look as bright as these colors are. I mean, look at the picture. There, are, these purples are way brighter than than that. Those pinks look really dull, and these pinks is only. Oh wow! Look at that. That's a neon. That is fluorescent. Well, I don't think you can really see it in the camera, but that is super bright. I've never seen a pink that color. Maybe if it's a DMC color in actuality, it's one of the newer colors. But that's what I'm saying though. Look how bright these pinks are. That 
does not seem like this dull one. And I think it looks dull like that because of the background being black. And it's showing through. But still, you don't get that there's a, this bright of a pink in there from this picture. So they might be good to take better pictures or something of their their stuff because when they're advertising it, because this is the main color of purple. And that would be this color here. And there is no way that's the same color. This is so much better. Maybe they used the flash or something when they took their pictures. All right, let's color, I mean, check to see if there's all 16 colors. And make sure they have different numbers on them. There's A. That's H. That's P. N, F. I don't even know if they have a B. I, M. There's a C. Oh, there we go. B is purple. So A, B, C. D, F. They better not have an E. That would really be annoying. There's H. E, they do have an E. There's an orange. There's not too many of them, though. And one's orange, one's pink, so that's okay. Uh, where would be G? G is the few little blacks here for the I. H. And I know we have I. That's I. And J. Is that cerulean blue? I think. <laughs> And K is the neon pink. See, this is just another company where I'm going to have to have their leftovers set up differently. And these gems, though, they don't look like they are as faceted as the other ones. They look kind of thin. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they don't look like they protrude as tall as... The others, I mean, I don't know if you can get that from what you can see here. Now, I can see a little garbage in there, but I mean, they do. They look like they made them a little smaller. Um, not necessarily smaller um, width-wise, but smaller height-wise. So K, and then there's L. They didn't skip a letter. M, N. O and P. So is that 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So yeah, there's 16 colors. Well, I don't need to scrutinize each one of them, but as far as what I would give this one is um, an eight and a half out of 10 because they don't use DMC codes. And that is one of my big things with diamond painting. They need to have a universal code, even though they don't find a lot of, you know, like diamonds dot, diamond dots doesn't hold their themselves up to the standard of Chinese companies. But that doesn't mean you have to, you know, not make it where people can use a universal code for their gems. I just think that's something that they all should do. And it's just my opinion. All right, so I'm going to stick that back in there. I'll put the canvas back in afterwards. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, hearth or the wreath. They don't have names on them either. Uh, it just says create a 3D gemstone painting. This is blessed. And I don't see a place on here with a name. But then again, I didn't see a, a name on the leisure art ones either. And many people pointed it out that that was on the box. And uh, I can... 
I can say for sure there's no name on here. I'm going to say for sure, and someone's going to say, it was in fine print. Yeah, so. All right, let's pop this one open. Look at the canvas and the beads. And then we'll look at the one with the forest or whatever it is, the trees. I really like this one. And this is something I would probably put in my living room. Most diamond paintings I wouldn't put in my living area. But, or in, even in my kitchen area. Let's look at the diamonds on this one real quick. There's a lot of earthy tones in this one. I just want to look at them real quick. This one has seventeen colors. There's a black, a yellow, orange. You know, this is these are fall colors. Because this that's what this reminds me of is like a fall wreath that someone would put up in their home in the autumn. Either there's just no air in this bag or they're oily. <laughs> I hope they're not oily. I don't see any residue, but I just think that yeah, this is more air packed, air sealed. And all these bags say Daz on them. So apparently they do their own drill manufacturing. I'll, I'll know more when I actually go to do one. But like I said, these do, these feel smaller, thinner. All right. There's a lot of this color, this um, pink salmon color. Now, so far, I haven't seen any kind of AB gems, which is what the difference is between them and um, the Leisure Arts even has them. And so does Diamond Dots and Diamond Art Club. Uh, these each cost $14.95. And look at that. That's like a teal color. And um, Brandy was saying that they were um, clearancing out the Leisure Art ones. They weren't clearanced um, at my store. They were still the same price. So I don't know if they're just trying to make room for Christmas stuff or if there really are maybe fading them out, I don't know. But if we all go and buy them, I'm guessing they probably won't. That the only issue with buying them at Walmart is you can't use coupons there. But I was just there and I didn't want to miss my chance to grab them. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And there's another really pretty aqua blue. The only only one that I was really impressed with so far is that um, neon pink. These other ones, they, you know, the, the colors are familiar. M, N, O... P and Q. So they actually did do Q and O. Even though there's only a few Qs. Uh, I don't... I, I really wish they would skip those letters that could be mistaken for something else. And don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm just being thorough. I, I actually enjoy being able to go to Walmart and pick up a diamond painting. Especially if you want to get a last minute gift for somebody. Or if you know somebody you need to get a gift for and you don't have no idea what to get them. And then you find out that they actually like diamond painting or you get them involved in it and then you can run to the store and just get them one real quick. Quick and easy. Because, I mean... Michael's shouldn't be your only option or craft store shouldn't be your only option. So this is got, looks like it has a lot of reds. This one actually, um, uh, the entire background is white, 
but with this it works it's not a it's not an animal um i mean but still you, you know even with the flowers you'd think it would look fuller if they would actually make the color the background fill the background in with the color of the the drill that you're putting in that spot so here's the drill filled you can see they're all white in the background even on these other colors the reds and the pinks and the purples or whatever that is color the reds and the yellows everything is all has a white background but I, like i said th it might work with this one because it's flowers but if you imagine all these darks these colored spots filled in you can still see all that white so i mean it doesn't look as realistic as it would if they were if it had the background colored in and maybe one of them will watch this video and say, hey, that's a good idea. But, um, so, it, yeah, all the colors are accounted for. 17 colors. I like this blue. I really like the blue in here. Kind of wish there was a little bit more, but, you know, like I said, it, it does look like it's more of an autumn decoration. And... I'm not sure what's the one thing that is concerning with trying to um, frame these. It says ready to frame, but is it in a size that you can get a frame for where you can just put it in a frame? It says ready to frame. So I don't know what that means. It says, well, 16 by 20, you can get 16 by 20 frames. So that'll be interesting to find out. I think I'm going to go ahead and get a frame, a 16 by 20 frame. I might even have one and see if yeah i actually have one right here let's see how it compares so yeah it's a little larger and you don't so you don't need very much overhang you actually would just still trim that off to get it to fit in here and i might just you know do one up and use the frame because this is a 40 by 50 and that's why that's what I got the frame for was for the 40 by 50s I was buying and I got this frame at Michael's when they were buy one well they were like 70% off that's what it was yeah. or buy one get one free and so I believe I have two of them I thought I had two of them looks like I only have one though yikes okay so I'm going to have to catch their sale next time. So there's the blessed one. And let's look real quick at the last one. The big one. Let's see what kind of... I'm sure it's going to be a lot of... Well, it's got pinks and lots of blues. and I was thinking more greens. But yeah, this these are autumn trees. Excuse me. So this is more another autumn, autumn-y type painting and yeah nothing new 16,500 and this well this one has 15 colors so this one has the least amount of colors of all of them and it's got the most gems these boxes are nice though they're very um, sturdy and I like the fact that they are just like the diamond dots and uh, diamond art club where they're not perfectly square they they're they're more you know they've got the you know dimensions where it I think it makes so that it's not rounded when they're in there they're more uh, ovaled get that out all right let's look at the diamonds real quick I know I'm doing it backwards in this video but I want to save the canvas to last I'm so bad at trying to remember to cut off my video and start a new clip when it gets to the 38 minute point so you probably I got cut off probably somewhere in there um, toolkit, toolkit, did 
this one come with a toolkit? Because I didn't... I only see two toolkits so far. There's no toolkit in this one. And... Did I put the toolkit back in this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Just had to make sure all of the stuff was there. So that, that second one, I would give that one a 9.5 out of 10 because... It didn't have DMC codes. None of these will get a 10 out of 10 for me because of the fact that they don't use DMC codes. This one again has that neon pink. Not fluorescent, it's more neon. And the video, you just can't tell because of the light, how neon it, it really is. I mean, it looks kind of salmon-y, like salmon, but I, Turn off the flash, you might be able to, but I can't do that without stopping it. So let's see if I'll, there's a lot of yellow. This is in there really tight. Let's see if all the colors are here. And that is a pretty yellow. It's kind of dull, but... And there is a pretty blue, but not the pretty, pretty blue, like 820 blue. It's still pretty. That's K. And this is A, G, G, H. So it looks like the only really big bag is that yellow. This one would be the second biggest. They have two, two different size bags, it looks like. And the reds. E. And there's grays. It's a dark blue, orange, Let's see, D, E, F, and then we got mustard or baby poop green, yellow, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, Okay, and J is the peach, peachy co coral color. J, K, okay. and then L is like a magenta color. So L, M, N is brown. So there's a bit of that. O is that. So there's quite a bit of them in that. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So all the gems are here. And it is still good to count even when it's a boxed company because they can still miss send on the... All right. I got to put it in the right box. So let's look at this last canvas. And we will be done. So yeah, this is very fully covered. And this one, they actually did fill in the background with the colors. So they do know to do it. They may have just messed up on the cat. Um, and it's not black. It actually... They actually match the colors of what their beads are. Because look at the pink area. You can see all the pink backgrounds. If we can get the glare off. Oh my lord. This glare is bad today. Okay, there you go. You can see how it's pink. And over here where the D's are, you can see the darker background. And the, yellow, the yellows have yellow backgrounds. So, this one will actually get um, a nine and a half as well. Now, the sticky on this one is way better than that cat. The cat did not, and I didn't check the sticky on the second one. 
Okay, but I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Oh, yeah, because that's not sticky. I thought it was sticky. But there's an area right in the middle there. Oh, no, it is kind of sticky. It's tiny bit sticky, like it was an afterthought sticky. Well, it's sticky enough. I'm just not sure if there was supposed to be gems there. But seeing how it's got, it's like a paint brush strokes. You can see little bits of it in here too, all throughout the tree. So I don't think that was a mistake. That's probably how it's supposed to be because there's another one there. So yeah, this one looks a lot better and I actually like the, the, how it looks like it was painted. Like someone freshly painted it. But someone was really sloppy with this one because there's a big glob of sticky down here at the bottom. So, you know, being the stickler that I am, um, I'm going to have to take a point off with somebody getting really just messy with it and not paying attention and getting a stick down there because what am I going to do? I mean, I'll have to put powder on it to deactivate it. I just hope it won't look different because of it. But these canvases are extremely thick. At least this one is. I don't remember the other ones being as thick as this, but let me see. Yeah. Yeah, they're all that thick. But so far, this is the one I like the most because of the fact that the colors blend in. They have the background matching the, the drills. And I think, like I said, I think that should be done on all rounds. All right, so, well, there's the key on that one. Same thing, it's just the A through O. And I just don't know why they didn't put, they did put the letters on there. Well, I don't know why they have the numbers by them because that has no significance to anything because the bags have the letters on them. But whatever. Alrighty guys, that would be it for this video. I know it was a long one and some people like the long ones, some people don't, but if you don't, there's this great extension for Chrome that you can get so you can fast forward um, through videos. I got it and it's really neat. I played around with it, watched one of my own videos at 10x speed. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, um, after I give you the question of the day and you head down there to answer that question in the comment section below, you can go ahead and click that like button because I'd be very happy if you did. And um, the question of today, the question of the day today is, what's one, of you, uh, one food you could never bring yourself to eat? And I'm going to say more than one because I can't stand seafood, but I will eat like breaded fish, but I will not eat sushi. I, I, I would not touch sushi um, because it, even if it doesn't have fish in it, I just can't, I don't know. I just can't mentally get, take, get myself to eat it, um, mainly because I probably feel like I'm being tricked into eating fish or something because, you know, that has happened to me. But also... Um, Anything like squids, you know, octopus, just, just rubbery. And for the longest time, I wanted to be on Survivor when I was younger. And when I started seeing the episodes where they made them eat bugs and whatnot, and larva and eyeballs, and I just, no, I can't do that. I, I would never, I could never eat, especially something that's alive, or scorpions, you know, insects, bugs. Or seafood. <laughs> it's all categorized in the same category for me. <laughs> so um, I'd be interested to hear what food you could not bring yourself to eat. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video, like I said. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is for you. And don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.